played a bit, played, still doing well. And then Steve Compella came. What did you think about Steve Compella, by the way? Because I've, I've had my run-ins with him, in terms of, but I'm curious from your perspective. Thing is that, you know, man, every, every player has different, how, how do I play it? How do I say it? Mine and his relationship, it's, 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 I don't understand it. It's complex because you're not going to have relationship with fair, I don't think many people know where, where you sit when you're talking to him. Honestly, so. Like, character-wise, he's a great person. He's a lot of energy. He's going to pump energy into you. He's, he's going to make you run, yeah. for sure. He believes in running a lot. But yeah, like, I, I don't understand the relationship we had. Like, because when he came, I think that's when he came. Yeah. Because we had three coaches that season. When he came, I was doing well, I was playing. Came um, mid-season break. We came back. And then, you know when you're regular, like, you know you're going to start, right? Yeah. So then, came back. And then, first training session, I was on the other side. I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on? Yeah, you know? that, that one's a little uh, breeze, the ego. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I said, okay, whatever. You know, yeah. let's go. First game, they played 11 v 11. I probably scored four goals. I was on fire for about three, four months. But then... You know, when you go to a game and you know, like, okay, I'm not in the team, but, you know, the way I've been training, you know, I feel like I, yeah. I deserve to play. But then I didn't play, I think, for like, uh, until the end of the season, the last game. So then as time went, as time went by, because I was like performing really well at training, and then all of a sudden I could feel like my confidence dropping, yeah. dropping, dropping, dropping. And then after, I think after the seventh, eighth game, he called the... the Kurt Lenkies and uh, John Pencil. He called them. So he called them. He says, "Come here." And he says, "How TK, how how was TK training when you came back?" And then uh, Kurt says, "No, no, he was training well. You know, he was giving us trouble, doing very well, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And then he asked John, "John, how's TK training now?" It's like, "No, no." Is TK a rapper name, by the way? I don't know. No, like, when your the alias from the that's the first maybe guys album coming out soon. Eh? TK, we got to go on something. Eh? We're gonna do, do you remember so, be, line. just before we started? Remember, you're saying you know I call you TK. I said yeah. now now people call me TK because ever since yeah. I moved to Marysburg, like because that it's a lot of Zulu people. And then yeah. since then it's been TK. When I come okay. to Pretoria, I know I'm talking. Okay. <laughs> when I'm other like you cross the border, in, eh? the I'm name TK. changes. Okay, Definitely. all right, fair enough. So yeah, he calls John. He says, "No, uh, TK is not training that well right now. He's not pushing, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And then I was just like, you know, okay, because I felt like you know, it's like six, seven games in, and I was doing so. You even saw that I was doing well, but you didn't even play me. So obviously, like I was just like, but how old are you at the time, you know? Because he's still fairly young. Yeah, I was 20, 22. 22. So this is maybe 22. where you're saying when we're looking at development and how South Africa doesn't foster. A great environment for young players. Maybe they're looking at you going, 22, you're still young. You can learn one or two things. I'm going to go with the tried and trusted because we know coaches in this country. Yeah. And they'd rather get the result than develop anyone at their expense. It's all about the result. Definitely. And, and I think I, just before, just before, just when, when Steve was there, I got an offer. This was the sad part when I said it was sad. I had an offer from Norway. I even had a contract. You know? yeah. They wanted to sign me. They said, okay, we're going to offer you guys this much. They said, no. We don't, we don't want them. Like, clubs are Yeah, clubs yeah. are And then they said, okay, we'll give you this much and then we'll give you a 20% selling on fee. They said no. And then okay, I couldn't really do anything about it. Played a bit, got injured, season ended, then they released me. I don't even know what to say there, man. Yeah, this, is, this is football, but I feel like this is what people need to hear. A goal launch TV, it's where it's happening. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing. Shout out to that, man. Make sure you do it. Click on that link below. There's a bell notification. Hit that bad boy.